Here we're going to show a little video about showing about what's inside the LED coffee pot uh, underneath the shell. Uh, we have a cutaway version here so we can demonstrate all the things that it does. Uh, so mainly the power will come in from down below. The 110 power comes in from behind, uh, goes and in, splits into two plugs. One plug goes directly to the USB hub for running only the USB lights. I mean, excuse me, if we're only char using the USB charging cords, all the other systems are hooked into the 15 amp, five volt power supply, which comes in the back. The power then goes down and is distributed into the controller and to the fan and to the charger for the smoke machine. <sighs> once the lights, once the power goes into the controller in the back over here is where the controller is, uh, then the power signal goes down, splits into two, where we have the LED signal enhancers, so you don't get any flicker or any whine, or when you run the grinder, the lights don't go and, and mess up with the with the, uh, any other accessories that you're running on the same power line. So we don't want the light flickering if you're running the coffee grinder on the same line. You don't have to worry about that because we've got filters and enhancers going to each line of two has its own chip and its own enhancer. So we've got 16 lines at 32 bulbs, uh, actually 23 bulbs, excuse me, uh, making for about 40 watts of power. Uh, and we have uh, 75 watts of provided by the thing. So we have plenty of power to take care of everything. Uh, you have the USB hub that comes with four cords that are equipped with heat sinks on each cord. And there's a fan here cooling them. So we found that these cords kind of wear out after about six to 10 months uh, because they get so hot if you leave them plugged in 24 hours a day. But with the heat sinks attached in the fan, we're finding that they can last the two years and you don't have to worry about them. They last a pretty long time. Uh, uh, so that's pretty much it. How, what's on the inside? Oh, the smoke machine. I forgot about the smoke machine, the most coolest thing there is. Uh, so it has a smoke machine that works by remote. Let's see the other one. And you can see it comes out there. There's the smoke. Da, 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 da. Uh, and it comes out the bottom. Let me go ahead. Oops. Turn it half a turn and it just pops right out. Just pops right out. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and take a look at that separately since we're showing all the stuff that's inside. Oh, here's the smoke machine. You can see it has a window where it can be filled. You just push down the window, put the juice in there, and push the window back up. And she works. Uh, we 3D print all the accessories. Uh, it has a two-channel remote since the since the fan for the pump and the smoke machine run on two different voltages. We have a voltage regulator inside there and a remote control and the two-channel uh, distributor relay to go ahead and do that. And then you just connect the barrel thing back, plug the cord in, stick it into the quarter turn, and she's all set to go. So that's basically all the things that are inside underneath hiding underneath the shell that are crammed into that, <laughs> that small piece by nine months of rapid prototyping and when we put the shell on it here you get this guy and that's what's inside the led smoke uh coffee pot smoke machine